100%, and then you're like, why? But in this game, I feel like Lucina has a bit of an edge towards Mario. Mm -hmm. Definitely was one of the very, very bad matchups back in the Smash 4 days. I feel like in just this game in general, it feels like it's more potentially doable, but as meta progresses, it could be potentially worse because a lot of people were saying, oh, look, Ally is still taking sets off of these uh, Mars, but after the Mars got way better, it was difficult for Ally to really get uh, a lot of stuff started near the end of Smash 4. But here we go. Let's see how this goes down. Okay, Neely getting the up tilt, missing, understanding the fact that Master Mario missed the grab here. He was able to get two up tilts for that one. Gets the forward tilt into the neutral area for landing, using that landing neutral. It's a pretty good option there. We kind of saw it play well against um, Bankai. Oh, take him off the top. It's not quite going to be able to do it yet. You know, sometimes when the ladder happens, I'm looking for like the little square that tells you where the blast zones are, and I'm like, where is it? Where? <laughs> yeah. I, I thought I was looking in the right spot. but The radar? Yeah, not quite. Oh! oh. <laughs> he tried to parry the, the second hit of Dancing Blade and then try to go in on something, but uh, didn't try to go parry the rest, but a great pickup. Scoop him up with the down to get that back air. I'm so sorry, man. One of my favorite things in like Smash Four is here is when TK say scoops. That was like my favorite thing to always hear. Great, okay, but anyways, let's go back into it. Immediately, Valadin and Master Mario evening it up in terms of stocks. Valadin here with a great neutral win with the upward swing of the um the side beat. Mm -hmm. Oh, the dancing blade. Oh, trying to find like some kind of pressure or something with that shield breaker. Not quite gonna be able to find it though. Yeah. I'm sorry, let me just go ahead and lever on that side B there because it was such a good option for him to go to because he had the platform and he could have gone for an up air and up tilt, especially with the platform there being in Master Mario definitely would have been sent to the platform with the up up uh, up swing from the side B for sure. Mm -hmm. Just trying to space out. It looks like I don't know how Master Mario does it. He's so good at scooping him up and picking him up every single time when Vladin throws out a move. Usually it's so difficult to get in on a uh, Lucino as a character like Mario, but he's been able to figure out the timing and get those whiff punishes even as slow as Mario is compared to relative how quickly Lucina can gather herself back to apply the pressure again. I like the difference in pacing from that dancing blade because that's what you want to do. Sometimes you want to make a sub to the speed and Master Mario saw like, hey, you, you did one swing too slow. I'm smash here. Yeah. Uh, Valadin probably forgot that he had his jump or something, and he was just trying to use that Nair to keep Master Mario away from a potential edge guard. Mm -hmm. And you saw Master Mario just stood there, <laughs> and he got the stock anyway off of an SD. Worked out great for him, and that's what you call pressure. Yeah. Sometimes the, the most threatening thing is to do nothing. <laughs> exactly. Your opponent's so locked into what are your options when you move, but he never thinks about when you stop moving. Yeah, it's like the Hall Monitor episode of Spongebob. <laughs> He's just standing there <laughs> menacingly. <laughs> But here we go, putting him at the ledge one more time. Vladin trying to keep up some control again, and he's got a lot of damage already from ledge trapping. Okay, landing neutral yet again. Master Mario there with a defensive play still. Working out, I like the fact that he checks Vladin each time with the fireball. The one thing I like about now we're seeing from Master Mario here, you implementing that when we saw earlier, goes for fireball, dash dance, then goes in. He's looking to psych out Vladin with his timing. That's what you talked about here. Conditioning and timing, super crucial with how Master Mario's playing against between him and Vladin. Okay. Trying to figure out how his way in, but just shield go. Oh no! He took the trade and he nearly cashed out. Dude, Black. that happened so fast. Yeah. Vladim like got the grab and he's like, all right, yes, I'm in advantage position, as commentators would like to call it. And then all of a sudden, wait a minute, I am being spiked in my supposed advantage <laughs> position. <laughs> yeah, I've worked so hard for this, but I didn't get anything. <laughs> oh, man. Master Mario, he just knew when to do it. Yo, it hold up. Am I seeing... Okay, I thought he made this character, so I'm so sorry. It reminds me of when Larry went um, Mario against Nairo at Fosaga, and he got the fair, like, when Nairo went all the way off stage to try and catch him. And it's just, sometimes it just works like that. You gotta be careful about your opponent's resources, especially when they're a stock ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, possibly a decent spot dodge there. I definitely understand he was trying to get away from Master Mario, possibly going for a grab or a back out of the shield, especially at that point where he was at the ledge. But nonetheless, Blind's still here. 12% to the 39. Yeah. I love how Master Mario's trying to control that space with the fireball so well. Oh, and of course, Fair does send it to tumble at those uh, mid percents, like 40, 50 ish. So it's very scary for a character to be stuck in that tech chase position against a character like Lucina. But he's not quite going to get anything. I think Vladin is a little hesitant to push advantage where he knows that he can get something going. Like that whiff punish there, sensing Master Mario's up air and coming in. Especially like you talked about earlier, right? He loves going with those fireball approaches and immediately Vladin making some adaptations here. One thing we're seeing here a little bit more dash dancing. He's trying to see how Master Mario's comes in here. Dash dance a little bit away from the fireball, react to it. Oh, the high recovery 
but that actually was just enough time. Valadin was already in the air, could not commit to something to try and get that punish in. Great recovery from Master Mario. Gonna go low, especially with that directional air dodge. He's making it just back just fine. He's got a decent percent lead size on Master Mario, but we know Master Mario to be pretty crazy on these call-outs trying to get that F smash. Gets One more time. Throw. I like it. That's, it's still a good option there in the neutral. We saw it in Smash 4 the last game where going for Flood in the neutral was a pretty good option. It still proves there really well again in the ledge. Is that fireball to check Vlad and see where he's going to go and mix. Actually, the fireball was good there because it forced Vlad to start going low instead of normal. In the back throw puts him off stage one more time. Master Mario with the second chance, and of course the raw bear is just so difficult to try and get around that as a character <laughs> that's tall as Lucina. <laughs> yeah. Very frustrating. Okay, dash down it again, trying to see the out of shield option there with a the forward air. Master Mario using that fireball to get in and gets the down air here and puts Vlad in a decent spot here. Vlad swipes back here. This is his edge guard here. What can he get at this situation here? Right, going for a neutral air. It's kind of his classic move here. Ooh, the oh, the down okay. smash. You don't see that too often, but this is a quick uh, smash attack option from both Marth and Lucina. Yeah, not a lot of kill power. Uh, historically, has not been great in terms of kill power, but definitely one of the fast moves as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, the pivot grab just right outside the rage, but jab is going to work. Oh, Master Mario trying to go for it again, and Vlad is like, up, 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 wait a minute. I remember what to do. And we're yeah. starting to get in that percent range where the up throw might be able to do it if he can look for it, but the bear out of shield, that's just fine too. Yeah, I and mean, it's a pretty good option to go for bear out of shield. Mario's height is actually pretty decent enough to actually still hit by bear, but it also would have definitely stopped Master Mario from having out of shield option himself. Right. Oh, we got the up air juggles. They're both doing it on each other. Valadin getting the last half of it. <laughs> but here we go. Spick up. <laughs> Spick him up. Spook. Blah, blah, blah. Pick him up with the up airs again after that fireball confirmed. And he's still going for it. Tries to get that dare, but just not the right position for it. Bit of a scoop up there. Immediately, Massimar's face out that back. And immediately comes back to the shield. Aladdin almost with the lift punish there, but immediately, Massimar goes for a fast fall. Just a little bit earlier. At this point, I do see Master Mario just trying to catch Vlad on the landings here, and I like the fact that he takes the time to say, you know, I haven't gone for an air option. When you go for an air option, and let me do this. Let me do it first. Yeah, this is again the illicit response thing where you dash back a little bit, and Vladin tried to go in, and he just said, okay, psych, I have all my resources, and I'm going to go in and get that there. <laughs> Not quite taking the kill yet. He's going real low on that fourth throw him off. Oh, actually, no, go for the down throw mix up. I like that one too, because that's definitely one of the things Mario's like to do is the down throw mix up or the fourth throw and try to go for the uh, possible forward air. Usually you go like to go for down throw to forward air or down throw to up air. Yeah. Pretty good mix up. Ah, no bears this time around. Vladin is very careful to get around that range, but falling up here, even in the reverse, it brought out the red lightning. It's <gasps> not quite going to do it yet. Nice. He held that jump. Of course, you got to save your jumps in 2019. They are worth a lot of money here. Oh, uh, and the rising up air. That will finally be able to do it. Master Mario with the resilience to make sure he does not just spam up smash, he doesn't spam forward smash, stuff like that. <laughs> and to be able to keep up that mental fortitude to not lose his lead that he was so careful of maintaining. Nice, if he hop here, Vladin's looking for an edge guard. He's got Master Mario at 111%. Not able to find it there, but Master Mario finally gets in, puts in some extra credit percent here, and he sends Vladin a little bit... I wouldn't say pack it, but now Valana has to be more aware. He's a little bit, he's falling behind here, but that side B, so strong, sends Master Mario off the stage, and he's forced to go for a low recovery. Very afraid of that forward air, for sure. Yep. He's trying to find a two frame on that recovery. He, he, I think he knows that he's going to fall. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, man, he thought he actually picked them up with his up air, but immediately Valana was able to swipe himself out of there, for sure. Uh, came from the fireball, too, from the Master Mario. All right, but here we go, up airs. Oh, wow, he jumps out of the way just in time. Not going to be able to get that. Parries the fireball, too, and gets a response afterwards. Still 102%. That's kind of difficult to come back against Mario. Can't make too many mistakes, especially when you're put at the ledge like this. Up air. Master Mario looking for the landing here. And yet again, the change up here. I haven't gone for an aerial when you try to go for an aerial. I'll do it first instead. Using that fireball, trying to find reach in there. Vladin gets that forward throw, and he's looking like... So one thing that we do see from Vladin every time he sees Master Mario recover high, goes for the forward airs because he knows he's trying to spot dodge. He has to commit to those options. And I feel that Master Mario needs to understand, should I mix up my high recovery with my low recovery? When is that applicable to my to me coming back on stage? Oh, in the back air one more time. Vladin was doing a good job of making sure that... He was catching Master Mario when he's trying to be extra defensive now that he has this good lead, but does not want to lose it. And you can see Valadin is kind of making sure that he's keeping away from his shield. And he tried to go for it right there, but it just not executed properly. He doesn't get the shield break he was looking for. He saw, he knew, he elicited the shield, but it was not enough. And he's got himself in a bad position one more time. Back air, okay. Oh, and another one. And Valadin picks the wrong time to come back from the ledge. 
and it's the fadeaway back air, dude. He literally went for the back air, angled himself just a little bit forward so he can fade him out and sense him from getting back on the ledge. It was really good play from Master Mario because he knew if Lana was coming back in, he was coming in strong with the forward air, and he made the space in there with the fadeaway back air.